So let's take a look at the championship table. If we scroll down far enough past Watford and Luton, we'll find the team that we're rebuilding in today's episode. 18th place Middlesbrough sitting very low in the championship, just sat Chris Wilder, but having appointed a former Tottenham, Manchester United and England international Michael Carrick into the depths of their management. So see what we can do with Michael Carrick today. Let's see if he can rebuild Middlesbrough. So we start off with the man himself walking into the press conference, Michael Carrick. Hasn't he got his work cut out for him in today's rebuild? I mean, they've got a very, very nice team, Middlesbrough. We start off with in goal, Zach Steffen on loan from Man City. Play 5-3-2, Isaiah Jones at right wing back. Jake Steele as a centre back with Dale Fry, Paddy McNair and Ryan Giles as the left wing back. A lot of former Premier League pedigree in that defence. Obviously Johnny Housen, they've got Crooks in midfield with Alex Mauer and they play Akpom and Rodrigo Munez as the front two. So we're going to see what we can do with the budget which is around £12 million, a decent amount of money to be fair to spend in this season and we're going to have to spend all of it on our objectives by the looks of it. So uh, the board have set out a youth objective. The youth objectives are usually irrelevant and uh, obviously the, the biggest main focus for me would be to try and get the domestic success out of the way. We need like three clean sheets and away matches, not too difficult, no continental success, but they want to win the championship. Much easier said than done. Can't see us doing that to be honest with you. We will indeed see the financials as well. They want to sign two crucial players and make a profit of 25 million pounds. And I can only see one way that happening. We're going to sign a few free agents. The first one is Jason Denier. The former Man City and Leon central defender. Still 77 rated in career mode. So a very good first signing there. We're also going to sign the Qatari international Afif. Such a talent player in real life. A talented player in real life, sorry. Excellent dribbling, excellent ball control. And hopefully he can make a difference. Then one signing we're going to pay about 10 million for. Tom Davies from Everton. Look at that beard. The ginger skulls is joined by another player from Mexico this time and Tuna who's a new right winger for us so we're going to change the formation we're going to change the layout and hopefully get a decent result by the end of this season so uh, yeah we'll see what the board rate him it's an A of course as it's a free agent he's 75 rating and we'll see how he fits into this team Stefan starts as the goalkeeper the right wing back is Jones the two central defenders are Denier and Fry probably obviously Paddy McNair will come in there as well Ryan Giles is the left wing back only on loan though midfielders we've got Housen Davies and Crooks and on the right Antuna on the left Afif and the striker Akpom. So let's see how we do with this team. Come the end of the season it's a very talented group of players and hopefully we can guide Middlesbrough into the top half of the league. So we see the league table at the end of the season we finish in sixth place. Not too bad to be fair we're in the playoffs by 11 points. It's a very solid season as Norwich and Burnley go through automatically. And uh, obviously the playoffs are going to be very, very difficult as we see how we did in the FA Cup. We got to round five, we lost to Coventry. Very disappointing there. Could have made a quarter final. We're losing the round three of the Carabao Cup to Newport. But the promotion playoffs are all we're bothered about. We beat Sheffield United in the first leg by four goals to two on aggregate. And the final against Watford. Yes, you guessed it. We get a 1-0 victory. We're into the Premier League in the first season of Carrick's reign. And uh, we'll see how the players perform. So, Afif initially actually scored 20 league goals. Fantastic season for him, 26 overall. Agpom scored 18, and Tuna scored 17. And the young American striker, Hop, scored seven. Still a very balanced goal scoring chart for a team who finished sixth in the championship. Most players sort of chipped in with important goals. And um, it's just nice to actually get something, isn't it, to be honest with you. So yeah, the top assistant, of course, was Tom Davies. He only got one goal in 50 games, but got 11 assists. And um, I mean, very, again, very well balanced. A lot of players got a decent amount of assists. And we'll see how they affect the overall stat pad for season one. So, of course, the FIFA's the top scorer with 26. Davies is the top assistant with 11. And let's see what sort of budget we get for season two. So the current budget we've got is £30 million for some reason. It started off as 40, but it has dramatically decreased. We've got a few changes to this team we need to make. So Stefan's loan has ended. So we need to sign a new goalkeeper there initially. I'd also like to see a replacement for Tuba Akpom as the striker and potentially a new midfielder and just a bit more cover in general. 
for the defence and surrounding areas. So indeed the first signing we are going to make is Reese Nelson. Obviously Arsenal and Hoffenheim, academy graduate for Arsenal. And he looks like a fantastic acquisition, a realistic one as well to add to our frontline depth. The next player we're going to sign as well is a goalkeeper, Salvatore Sirigu, still 78 rated, so a very good signing there to help out with just a goalkeeper department. We've got nothing there at the moment and he'll make a massive difference between the sticks. The next one we're going to make a difference with is Diego Lorente. We've actually swapped a player for him because we were offered it and they're the same age central defenders and we've made the deal there. And we've got a bit more covering which helps as well. Two more signings to come. The first one is Lewis O'Brien. On This time we've got him from Nottingham Forest. Not a great season for him there in his first debut season there. And then one final signing. A new striker. This time the German under-21 international Lewing. Looks absolutely fantastic. £12 million pounds from Union Berlin which is release clause. And he's 76 rated. So I think he'll make a lot of difference in this lineup. So yeah, we are going to see the lineup for this season. Sirigu is the goalkeeper. Jones, Denier, McNair is the captain. And Bowler as the back four. Midfield three, we've got Tom Davies, Lewis O'Brien and McGree. Fantastic three midfielders there for stamina. We've got Antuna, we've got Afif and then we've got the new man, Llewellyn. Let's see how we do at the halfway stage of this season. So it's this point first half of the season. We're actually 15th in the league on 22 points. Six wins, four draws, 11 losses. We need a bit of recruitment and um, the board are not too happy with us. We're, we're on 68 manager rating, which I know manager rating is broken. That's a worrying sign because we need to uh, we need to get at least 70 by the end of the season so we don't get sacked coming into the next season and hopefully we can uh, we can improve on that and to just shore up the goalkeeping places even more we've actually signed Zach Steffen in the January transfer window his contract expired at Man City I didn't realize but he's come back to the Riverside and hopefully he can help in keeping us up and let's see how he fits into the team so Sirigu has been dropped he's not really done anything He's not set the world on fire and hopefully that signing gives us a respectable finish in the league and indeed we do. 13th place in the league, very, very good performance for a mid-table first season finish from Michael Carrick's Middlesbrough. We also do pretty well in the FA Cup where we go out to round five to Manchester City. The Carabao Cup on the other hand, we go out in round two to Rotherham, so not the best result there. And let's see how the players performed again. Afif hits 21 league goals. 26 in all competitions, and that is a ridiculous return from, from the Qatari Messi himself. Lewing didn't have a great first season, really underperformed there. Antuna was decent, to be fair. But I mean, overall, it's not a great goal scoring season, is it? I mean, Afif sort of ran away with it, finished third in the top scorers in the Premier League, but the rest of the players really, really disappointing, especially people like Reese Nelson who didn't really pull up any trees in this season. So the stat pad for this season reads, a thief on 52 overall, and he's now the top assist with 15 in two seasons combined. So uh, yeah, very, very good there. We'll see what objectives we made. We've actually got a manager rating of 63, so we've not done too bad there. We've actually achieved everything that they expect us to, basically. They won seven clean sheets in the league. We only got three, which is disappointing, but still, I feel like that was because we didn't have a great keeper in the first half of the season. Stefan was a lot better in the second half. And I mean, all the high priority ones, we, we, we hit, so it doesn't really matter. As the board, they, they say we're hoping for a clearer commitment. And that's just disappointing because what can I do more than finish mid table in my debut season as the middle run manager? I don't know. Let's go into season three. Well, we're given a budget of £38 million. And, um, well, I mean, we, we round up to about 43 And we have a few adjustments to make to the team for the new season. We need a new defender on the left-hand side. And potentially a new midfielder to replace Ryan McGree. So for this season, the board have set us even more ridiculous targets. Our manager rating is only 54, so we're lucky to be in the job, to be fair. The youth development's always easy to hit. The brand exposure are so weird. Signed two players, born in Europe. It's easy done, but it's so weird as brand exposure. I don't, I don't understand how that exposes your brand. You also want a Europa League finish and a round of 16 FA Cup finish, which is easy enough, but the Europa League one's pretty ridiculous, to be honest. So we are indeed going to make three new signings for this new season. The first one is former Middlesbrough man himself, Martin De Roon, released by Atlanta in real life. And we're going to sign him on a free contract and he's going to shore up 
that defensive midfield role. The next sign, I'm going to sign a young central defender called Abate, named after the fast AC Milan right back. And then one more signing for that left hand side, Ryan Sessignon from Tottenham. And that's a very good signing for £25 million. And uh, hopefully, to get us into that top six berth for Europa League football. So, the team for the new season, Stefan starts in goal. Right wing back, we've got Jones. Two central defenders, the captain, Denayer, Abate, and Sessignon. Midfield three, Darun, Davies and O'Brien. Very, very good midfield there. Very high stamina and all-round press. Right wing, as always, we have Antuna. Left wing, we have Afif, our best player. And then Lowellink, who needs to improve on his form last season. So by the end of the season, we finish in 16th place. Very disappointing season. We only managed 32 points from 38 games. Six wins, which is the second lowest in the league and the second highest draws with 14. So very, very poor season there. And hopefully the Cubs have, uh, have kept us up a little bit in manager rating. So the first one we're going to look at is the FA Cup. The third round we win Lincoln 1-0. I mean, not the best result in the world. The fourth round, we get a 2-1 victory against Sheffield United. So that's decent to be fair. We've made the round five, which is what they expected. We beat Birmingham in round five, 2-0 away from home at St Andrews. The quarterfinals also go away as we beat Man United 4-2 away from home. We also beat West Ham 3-2 in the semi-finals. And can we beat City in the final of the FA Cup? Let's have a look. Yes, we do. We beat them 2-1 at Wembley for the first Middlesbrough trophy in 20 years. That is ridiculous. The Carabao Cup is less successful as City beat us in that 2-0. But we do reclaim our revenge by beating them in the FA Cup final. Of course. So the top score for this season was indeed Jamie Llewellyn. Level with Afif, who also had a 16-goal season. And you know what? Again, it's not the worst season in the world because we've got Europa League football by winning the FA Cup, which is not what they expected. We've still done it that way. So, I mean, they can't really complain. I feel like I'm not going to make it to the next season. If you're looking at the time now, you're going to realise we're near the end of the episode. So we might not make it to the end of next season. But yeah, we'll see how these uh, overall stats affect the stat pad. I think you already know who's won both already. He's been absolutely fantastic. The Qatari international himself, Akraf Afifi, Afif? Akraf Afif, with 68 goals and 21 assists in all three seasons combined. And we'll see how disappointed the board are. Oh dear, we want to clear a commitment. This is not looking promising for season four. We have made it to season four. There's only 40 seconds left. So I think you can see our manager rating's 51 already. All these objectives I've managed to hit as well at some point in the next like 10 minutes, but I decided not to show it because some of them are ridiculous. We could, we, I literally did like three of these straight away. I signed a player from a different nation to the club. I did the youth objective and um, the financial one we were very close to hitting already. And um, yeah, they sacked us. Michael Carrick's term as Middlesbrough manager is over already before it even started, really. Three decent seasons, but you know, it is what it is. That's FIFA 23 for you. And uh, I really appreciate you watching as always, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch the video on the channel very, very soon. Cheers.